What's up, everybody, and welcome to day 342, making Songbringer. Uh, today I'm going to make this new um, NPC called Brutus. He's going to be a random encounter. So what's great about random encounters is that they can go anywhere in the overworld based on like a time limit. For example, if the player hasn't done something, like for example, if the player hasn't found Dungeon 1, they're basically lost, they're wandering. They can encounter this NPC. This NPC will give them the bio detector. Currently, that random encounter is a, a combative random encounter. It means you have to like, you know, just like everything else on the, the whole overworld is just full of combative encounters everywhere. There's always enemies. So there might as well be more uh, random NPCs. So this is gonna be kind of a new thing in that it's a random encounter with an NPC versus a random encounter with a, a an enemy. <clears throat> Uh, that's going to require some new code and some stuff like that today. So part of today is going to be coding, but the other part of today is just going to be artwork. So I'm going to start uh, by drawing the character first off, because that sounds really fun. So anyways, yeah, I'm designing a character here called Brutus, and he's a... Uh, um, this is uh, um, <clears throat> Steve Tranby's NPC, so a bunch of um, people uh, during the Kickstarter... Um, pledged at a level where they could design their own NPC and design their own rare collectible item. So Steve's given me some suggestions and everything. And uh, this is it. This is Steve's character, basically. Steve's NPC. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start by opening the document about the right size I want this guy to be. And first I'm going to get another character. Um, the hero. What's up, Jonah? Welcome to the stream, man. What's up, Arcane? Hey, guys. I'm doing good, man. Doing good. Yeah. Thanks for asking. Um, yeah, so I'll take start with maybe... Oh, we can just... Key is about the right height. He's 64 by 48. So let's make a document that's actually 64 by 64. And we'll start off Brutus. Draw this Brutus guy. So Brutus, um, according to Steve Tramby's design, is a is a man um, slash bear slash pig. So which I think is a South Park character. So I'm gonna try and not draw it exactly like the, the South Park character, of course. Draw something unique here. The guy from the poster? Oh no, that's the other guy. That's a different guy. Um, that's That I'll be doing next week, that guy. He's gonna be sweet. He's your spirit guide. Um, we're talking about this guy right here. This guy is your spirit guide. He appears when you start eating the cactuses. So he's gonna be cool. He teaches you stuff. Uh, but not that's not who we're working on today. We're working on Brutus. He's a different NPC, which I have not mentioned or drawn or done anything with. So this is the first look at Brutus. We're creating Brutus right now. This is uh, Steve Tranby's character. <clears throat> So, if the, if the tablet would work, that would be good. Uh, it's not working. Do we get to name Brutus? <laughs> uh, you can come up with your own name if you want for Brutus. Come on, tablet work. I would really like to draw today. Man. You go away for a weekend, come back, and your graphics tablet just doesn't work. You know? Story of my life. What's with this? It's totally messed up. Oh, man. This might be that... Might be time to get a new graphics tablet again. 
I had this problem last year. And then I like super glued my graphics tablet and now it like worked again. But it looks like it might have stopped working. I mean, I guess I could draw with the mouse. That sucks. Oh my god. <sighs> Did this happen to have to happen today? <sighs> well, all right. I guess I gotta make some pixel art with the mouse today. Hope that maybe, maybe the graphics tablet magically works tomorrow. Let's see. All right, all right. Well, Brutus is a hunter. Let's start with the outline here, like a, this, an outline of his shape, whatever. It really doesn't matter what color we're using here just yet. Imagine him having a spear. Wow, this is really hard to draw with the mouse. First thing to dial in is always proportions. Make him the right size and stuff. Each piece of him the right size. Now he's starting to look more Brutus-y. Am I making this Brutus? What Brutus is this? What's up, Barbell Egg? That Brutus. <laughs> I forgot that guy's name was, was Brutus. I forgot he was even a character with Popeye. It was played with Popeye, right? Oh, or there's the Roman Brutus. Ooh, that adds so much intrigue. All right, so if you're joining the stream, I'm, um, I'm uh, handicapped here. I'm drawing with my mouse instead of my graphics tablet because my graphics tablet is not working. So I'm starting with the outline, I'm starting with the, some proportions, and just uh, getting a, basically a silhouette going first. What's up, Azarus? And Lighter Thief, yo! Lighter Thief! Lighter Thief, my woe today is that my graphics tablet is not working. Woe is me. I'm having to draw with my mouse and it's really hard. Yeah, I think the tablet died, finally. Oh, Barb Boyle, good night, man. Have a good time at, um... Have a good time tomorrow, man. I know what you gotta do in the morning. All right, so that looks super horrible, but uh, doesn't matter at first. I'm just gonna put it in the game, and this guy's not a hero. He's a, he's a neutral NPC. Brutus. I started pro on life. Yeah, it did. It did. It lived much longer than it. 
than I ever thought it would. Man, I really, I just, I'm really hoping that it just magically all of a sudden works tonight, maybe, or something. But if not, I guess I gotta order a new one tonight. Well, there's no folder for NPCs. This must be common. Let's call this one Brutus Zero. Uh, all right. Well, that means okay. So if I want to be able to see, right? I know. Just this vague hope I have. But uh, it's a thin one. It's a thin thread to to hold on to. Okay, well, okay, so well, like I was explaining a little bit earlier, this is a um, this is an NPC where he's going to be a random encounter. So this is something that I've, I haven't ever done in this, in Songbringer yet before. A random encounter NPC. It might be a little tricky the way it creates the entity and everything. I'm not sure if I don't know. I'm just gonna. I have to start coding this and just figuring it out. You know, so. <clears throat> um, I'm thinking, okay, so it'll work similar to how enemies are placed by the story system. Like mini boss, for example. Here's mini boss zero, mini boss one, in fact, we're going to be replacing with Brutus, anyways. So. That, we'll just call this Brutus 1. Brutus 1, if you have the sword and you have item 0, but you don't have item 1, and you've been to like all these positions, let's, let's cut that down a bit. And for now, I think we can just do full. I think we can just make this Brutus right here. So, in essence, making Brutus an enemy. <laughs> A wild Brutus appears. Does he give good loot? Yeah, this guy does give good loot. He gives you the bio detector, which is... And he teaches you how to where stores are. All right, I think this might be enough to get it going, but now we need a Brutus profile. Did I make a Vel profile? I think I did, yeah, she's got tons of stuff. And she just got a dress, dress sharp too? Definitely. All right, let's copy Vel data heroes. No, friends. I think a queue actually might be the right thing. Just copy, copy that out to Brutus. Now he's got a render component. Let's give him that Brutus zero. Well, percent D will work. And that's it. We he just needs an idle at first. He's got no sounds. I guess he can have a behavior. Render reflection shadow. Yeah, all this stuff. This is pretty good. It's a good start for them. All right, yeah, so that should be able to create. It's using the wrong 
What's up, Alex Pita? Welcome, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, it's we got so we're spawning a foe named Brutus, even though he's not a foe. I think this might still work. So we have to take away from the player the compass zero so that this mini boss encounter here can happen well this encounter with him and then yeah we just need to be somewhere where he could appear so probably not the first screen yeah if you're just joining the stream I'm working on a new NPC named Brutus this is um this goes all the way back to the Kickstarter days um, when uh, people people were doing the Kickstarter, there were a few different uh, reward tiers where you could uh, design your own NPC. So three of the people got their own to design their own NPC. This is Steve Tranby's NPC. His name is Brutus, and this NPC is like a hunter, and he roams around the overworld. He knows a lot about the world, and what else? He's gruff. He's really gruff. I think we can save right here. And I believe we should have seen him already. As long as we have the top hat. Yeah, we got the top hat, of course. Okay, I think you I think you might have tried to do this. Create a phone named Brutus. We'll see. We go to the story system. And set a breakpoint when it creates a foe. We'll see if this is actually happening. MC Finest Gold, what's up man? How you been? I don't need this breakpoint right now. Good. All right. It looks like we're yeah we're spawning a Brutus. Let's see um, where he gets spawned at. Oh, there it was. It just gave up right then and is like, nope, I'm not gonna not gonna do it. Here, this should be an assertion failure. So next time this happens, I don't I don't go. Why? I'm all right, man. I'm doing good. Alex Pita, you the amazing new beta? Nice, man. I'm glad you're liking it. It's going to get better, man. It's going to get better every every week. Songbringers beta will just get better and better. Every 7 to 10 days or so, there's always going to be a new update. You guys can play the newest stuff. Uh, this week's update will be mostly like NPCs and puzzles. Um, I know you guys are really excited to play to have new enemies and stuff, but I really need to focus on the beginning part of the game right now. And so it's going to be NPCs, puzzles, things like that you can do on the overworld. Stuff that <clears throat> you can experience in the first bits of the game. Story system, foe, action, requires two words. There, and now I can remove this breakpoint, run it again, and it'll break this time. You can't wait to play? Nice, man. So yeah, for you, for you to you, MC, you just joined. I'm working on an NPC here. This is a new NPC. All right, good. Yeah, so it failed that time. Story system foe action requires two words. Now I don't. Now I know. Next time I that I accidentally make that mistake. So now I need to just do for foe Brutus one. There he is. He 
He's, he wanders as well. <laughs> okay, so yeah, what I wanted to put him here in the game for was just to see how big he is. Can I walk? Oh no. That's kind of cool. Okay, great. Wow. He's, to he's totally cardboard. He's super cardboard. Yep. There's no, absolutely no... Man, I'm really hoping my graphics tablet works. The Candyman of Shrek. <laughs> um, let's make him not wander around like that. That's that's the first thing. He targets. He sets some directions and stuff. Yeah, we don't even need any of these behaviors. What is it that you want to get on Mac that you can only get on Mac? Okay, yeah, so the point of putting him in here, though, is to check out the proportions. He's, like, really tall. Which is... Which is okay, but... Yeah, I think I want him a little shorter. Let's see if that proportion looks a little better. He looks all tiny now, but compared to the player, he's tall still. Yeah, that's about the right height then. Ah! Yeah, all pluses to having a Mac. All right, so I need to turn this guy into a man bear pig. It's hard to draw with just your mouse, but oh well. Um, man bear, the bear part, he's gonna have some like brownish for, fur. I'm imagining a pinkish face, sort of like with a with the like a pig nose, and then a man's sort of barrel chest. Imagine this guy being really barrel chested. Maybe he actually has really thin legs too. That'd be, that might be funny. Super barrel chested and thin legged. Oh, bear, like, uh, like a, a hairy animal. Beer. <laughs> All right, so let's get some colors. I'm thinking, let's get a, a skin tone. 
I'm gonna open up the rocks character. Or maybe the dude with the mustache that's kind of a good skin tone here. I'll grab both these tones here. Yeah, totally. That's exactly, <laughs> exactly. I think the inspiration. I think S Steve said he might be here on the stream, so hopefully he gets on here and we can, we can chat about it a bit before I, you know, I'm done drawing it and stuff. But yeah, <laughs> the, this is a funny man bear pig. I never knew they. I have never seen the actual South Park episode, and I'm 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 not sure whether Steve has in mind that it's supposed to kind of be like the South Park episode or not. It probably he probably does want it that way because he's from Colorado. But uh, I'm just making assumptions here. Um, but I think I'm going to start with the... I mean, it's pixel art anyways, right? So I'm going to start with a face that has um, a pig nose. What's up, Pedro? Brutus is an NPC. Wow, it's going to be really hard to get a pig nose into these just a couple pixels. Yes, Leah Slider Thief, this is a Kickstarter NPC. This is Steve Tramby's NPC. Uh, I love that guy. So the trick is the eyes. What color should his eyes be? I'm thinking he has like black. Ignore eyes and put a 3x3 three three pixel nose. Steve Tramby! Yes! Oh, I'm so glad you're here, man. All right, Steve Tramby, you're here. How many of them will I make? And how many NPCs? There's going to be three total NPCs from the Kickstarter. So this one is uh, Steve Tranby. So Steve Tranby, am I on the right track here? The important thing is the gin. All right. Cool. Okay, all right, let's try that. Let's try, let's try a Lighter Thief suggestion. A 3x3 th three three pixel nose. Hey, that kind of does look like a pig, a pig nose. Looks less like a pig nose like that. And then if I had some, maybe like some eyes up here. Let's do a different color for the eyes. This is perfect, no more pixels. It works, right? Um, let me do a darker, a really dark color for this eye here. And so it's, he looks like he has like one eye sort of. So you can kind of just, you can kind of tell that it's a, a face, maybe two eyes. I don't know. It might look like he kind of has a gas mask on now or something. But this might actually work. Okay. So should he have a hat? What should his hair be like, Steve Tramby? All right, all right. More pinkish hue for the nose. Yeah, oh yeah, let's get a, yeah, definitely a more pinkish hue for all the skin, really. So yeah, good suggestion, thief. Yeah, that's a little better. And then this one too, we'll do this one more red. Oh yeah, that looks a little better too with more of a square face there like that. 
His head's getting too big, though. Nomander. What's up, Nomander? Did I get your message? Which one you mean? Hair. What kind of hair should this guy have? I'm thinking... Does she have like a mohawk? I don't know. Rocket Bunny, what's up? The important one, they're ripping you off. What are you talking about? Mm, yeah, I don't know about this hair. He's a hunter, he's really gruff. I'm thinking he has sort of like long hair, long scraggly hair with maybe a beard. Maybe he has a beard. Elvis the pig. <laughs> they stole your idea. What do you mean, Nomander? Let's do, yeah, so let's try some long hair. Maybe black hair actually would be cool. Hyperlight Drifter. Oh no, no, Mander. Hyperlight Drifter did not steal anything from me. Hyperlight Drifter and Songbringer have always kind of had similar inspirations, no, Mander. Both Hyperlight Drifter and Songbringer are. Inspired by Zelda. They're both very inspired by Zelda games. Hyperlight Drifter is a lot different of a game though. Hyperlight Drifter is all bespoke. Every single level of, of Hyperlight Drifter is all created and there's no procedural generation going on whatsoever. Um, Songbringer is completely procedurally generated and it's a totally different game. If you really actually played both games, they're, they're a lot different. Rocket Bunny, what are you working on? I'm working on an NPC. It's Steve Tranby's NPC from the Kickstarter. A hunter who hangs out in taverns at night. A menacing character may scold, condescend, or trash talk you unless you bring him some top shelf gin. But they stole my art idea? What do you mean? They definitely did not steal my art idea. <clears throat> um. Okay, so... Let's make this some darker hair. <laughs> this, I don't know. If, I don't know about the long hair yet. Actually, this is kind of a maybe. I'm thinking maybe if he has long hair, it's sort of a ponytail, a pigtail, a pigtail. What if he had pigtails? Yeah, a beard would, would probably be a great idea. Yeah, exactly. The only the only similarity, really the biggest similarity between the games is that they're pixel art and they're Zelda inspired. Compare the NPCs in both games. What do you mean? There's a lot of NPCs. Yeah, so if he didn't have long hair, and you just had a long beard. Hmm, 
It's always hard to get right. He took a lot of my ideas. I guarantee he probably did not take my ideas. Also, um, Hyperlight Drifter what became out before Songbringer. You know that, right? Hyperlight Drifter was a Kickstarter in 2013. They raised seven hundred thousand dollars. Did you know that? Hyperlight Drifter raised seven hundred thousand dollars. He was able to hire many people to help him with art. It's an Check this out. Pig Paladin. Look at this. 24,000 backers helped bring, helped pledge $650,000 to Hyperlight Drifter. And I haven't played it yet, but I'm very excited to play it because it looks awesome. Yeah, Hyperlight Drifter has been in development for a lot longer time. So their Kickstarter was 2013, and he had already started his game with Game Maker and all that. And then I think he was able to hire a bunch more people and finish his game over the last few years. So how long has Hyperlight Drifter been developed? Like 2013, 14, 15. That's, th that's wait, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, it's three and a half years they've been working on that game. Yeah, $700,000. Yeah, Slider Thief, I'm glad you could see that too, yeah. The art styles are different. Oh, The Witness? No, I haven't played The Witness yet. It's kind of, it's one of those ones on my list I'd love to play if I had time. I haven't played it, but uh, yeah, it looks awesome, and I'm really excited for Jonathan Blow that it, it went so well. Maybe he should, you know what? Yeah, he should be bald. But not Amish, like sort of this normal ball here. Let me grab um, these colors. And maybe you should have a little shine too. Let's put a shine. Shine highlight, yeah! Highlights. <laughs> this is that one little pixel, man, it makes me laugh. The end game made you a fan, huh, Steve? Nice, man. It's cool to hear the end game did. Yeah, I definitely like him better bald. This is cool. Yeah, let's give him some some hunter like clothes and armor now. We'll play around with stuff here. Yeah, some armor would be sweet actually. Right? Should he have armor, Steve? What do you think? Armin House. Welcome to the stream, Armin House. Do I make a game? Yes, this game's called Songbringer. Let me play it a little bit so you know what, what I'm talking about. Yes, Rocket Bunny, I'm very excited to check out Jonathan Blow's language once he finally releases it. I've been waiting for that for a long time. In fact, had Jonathan Blow released Jai before I started Songbringer, I probably would have written Songbringer with Jai instead of C++. I really like the concepts of Jai. Give him two nipples. Huh. So this is the game, it's called Songbringer. It's like Zelda 1, but it's procedurally generated. Oh, hold on, let me get the sound. I always forget this. Streams of late. Oh, 
Okay, yeah. Alright. So yeah, this is Songbringer. You got a top hat you can throw. Um, bombs. <laughs> there's NPCs, there's a whole story. Yep, I've been working on this game for about, oh, a year and a half now, and it's coming out this year, and, yeah, it's, I mean, that's pretty much, that's pretty much all I could show you in, in just a couple minutes. I mean, this is a real, this is already, like, a, if you are to play this game and finish it, it's like a three to six hour game already, three hours if you're fast, one and a half hours maybe if you're speed running, six hours normally, I would say, you can finish Songbringer. All right, so I'm working on this NPC here. This is Steve's NPC. Let's get rid of this timeline and start working on his clothes and stuff. So he's a man, bear, pig. I'm imagining he has like really hairy arms. So let me give him some arm to start with, some arm skin color. <clears throat> and then throwing on some I'm thinking he has these bare arms with like lots of hair Armor could be cool. Not too much, though. He's probably done fighting these days. All right. All right. Maybe some leather armor then or something, maybe. If a if just a little bit. Armin House. Which program do you use? Uh, I use a lot of programs. But yeah, thanks, Raga Bunny. Coco Studio X is the game library that I use. Should he have a cloak? What do you think, Steve? A big cloak on his back or something? Let's see if he has a little more belly, what do he look like? That's pretty good actually, I like this. Seems kind of brutus-y to have a big belly. Yeah, that, that, that does look a lot better, actually, with his proportions. Maybe he doesn't have... No, I actually like the big hands. That's cool. Very Brutus-ish. I think. Why not make two Steves? One with armor and one with no armor? And then pick one? That's a good idea. A beer mug in the other hand, but he drinks gin. He's a gin drinker. Could be a trucker. Yeah, I did. Uh, okay, that's good. Nah, I mean, I don't really. Uh, I don't think I need to have Rock here on this drawing to compare to compare the proportions. But I do need to make him kind of more three D. Let's make him stand like that. And move his arm up a bit.
Okay, so I'm just going to throw it in the game to kind of determine proportions. What's up, T? Feel free to be literal or figurative. Okay, inspired by South Park. All right. Sort of sarcastic wise characters come off as having no time for a hipster rock stars named Rock. Uh, no time for them. Ah, uh, I got it. I got it. Oh, also a Ganon reference. Oh. I'm starting to get it now. I'm starting to get it for sure. Okay, he's looking better. He definitely looks more 3D now and, he, and stuff. But now I gotta work on his clothes. Clothes and other stuff. Bok Fu is low on points. Fix that. Oh yeah, he did ste steam key. That's right. We gotta give points going crazy here. Should I go for it? Oh, Teak. Oh, sorry, man. You almost got it. Well, wait, wait. I sorry. I just said that you almost got it. And I don't even know how close you were to getting it. But let me help you out a little more. Do it. Do it.
now it now it'd be obvious it to it obviously one of the next things to do is to animate him a little bit. But I do want to finish him first. Like I, I'm not quite finished drawing the first frame of Brutus, but I do like seeing him have a big tall spear like that. That's cool. Maybe even taller. Let's see what it would, this would be like with a super tall spear. Armanaus, um, what can you do with points? You can raffle them for a steam key. The nose should be darker. All right. Hmm. That's a little better. So let's try him with the darker nose. Yeah, that does look a little better. Let's go for I'm thinking like a brown handled spear almost. Or maybe black. Somewhere between black and brown, I guess. Hey, what's up, Thomas? Yo. 
Sorry, I just noticed uh, your name there, man. <clears throat> I guess maybe he should have some hunter pants and clothes on, right? So if he's a hunter, right, he's going to have something like green and brown tones, maybe. This is kind of a brownish gray tone. It's moving more towards the orange, though. No, I think I like the red actually. And then a little bit darker. Eklof. What's up, Eklof? Brown red? Yeah, that is what it is kind of brown red. Yeah, Eklof, that's a that's a good suggestion. Um the one problem though is that I can't actually that every single area has a dynamic color, so I can't match the color because it's it's dynamic. I mean I could guess that it's probably gonna be green. And then just, you know, do that, which is probably what I'll do, like, actually, let's just do that. Um, colors uh, are in the world. Here's the grass color. There's that grass tone. You, whoa, Thomas, you beat the game in three hours and 47 minutes. Wow. That's pretty fast. So you, you beat it in about four hours rushing. That's crazy. Mutinous, I like that suggestion. I like that a lot. Let's try that. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. It makes him look more intimidating and manly. What if his belly kind of gets over it? Yeah, that's nice too. Okay, now what does he look like with a little bit of this green tone somewheres? So this tone with that, that value, or I mean, this hue, that value, tone, whatever. A tone is 27. So now it kind of looks like he has some leaves like stuck on his pants or something. This is kind of working though. You're in normal mode. Yeah, nice, nice. 
Uh, Rocket Bunny, am I designing Songbringer for speedrunners? Yes. Permadeath mode is totally for speedrunners. Permadeath mode is the basically speed run speed run mode. It will have a timer permanently on the uh, the screen. It doesn't yet, but uh, it also will have other features which make it faster for speedrunners. Like the doors open faster, and um, there won't be dialogue and things like that from NPCs. Maybe some lighter or more saturated to make him pop on the background. Well, I do kind of want him to make him look like a hunter so we would blend more. Thicker legs? Maybe. I tried him with thicker legs earlier. It's worth a shot, though. I mean, you know, nothing hurts to try. It kind of works, but I'm not sure if I really like it. I mean, it does it does look more Brutus-y, I guess, for him to have thicker legs. Let's see what that looks like with thicker legs, and then we'll go thinner legs again. Or thicker thighs? Maybe that's a good blend of both. He does look pretty cool with that splotchy pants like that. So I'm thinking I'm gonna make his shirt kind of splotchy too. Or shirt, or make him have a little armor that's splotchy or something. I guess he does kind of look a little more realistic with thicker legs. But let's, for the sake of art, for the sake of, um, I don't know, sort of like making this look a little more ga video gamey, artistic rather than realistic. Let's see what he looks like once again with the thinner legs. Uh, PMC, what is it you don't like about the legs? See, I, I like it better. Oh, man, I kind of like it better with just the thin legs. But let's try that, though. Thin at top. Or thicker on the top. Right? Yeah, it's this silliness factor. I mean, it's not too silly where it's like crazy, but it's it's a little bit silly. So you kind of Jonah votes for thin legs. He looks like he could use a shield, huh? Maybe he should have a shield. What do you think, Steve? You still on here? Should he have a shield? Give him a cowboy hat? He, he would be aggressive for sure. Let's see what he looks like with a cowboy hat. He needs a man purse. <laughs> oh.
cowboy hat, huh? You got plenty of colors for cowboy hats. Well, I'll draw it in white though at first. Whoops. This is kind of a crocodile Dundee hat so far. No, just kidding. You don't want him to have you don't want him to have that? <laughs> yeah, it's, he looks like Napoleon almost with that hat. Okay. <coughs> okay, no hat for now. Um. Okay. Well, what is this shirt? Does this shirt look all right? Maybe his shirt needs a little more like texturing. kind of like him. What if he had less of an Amish beard? Whoa, that's kind of cool. That one little two pixels right there made him almost look like he has a scar on his face, which makes him look more gruff. Right? That kind of looks scar-like, doesn't it? What if this was actually a scar, so it was just this color, but... All right, cool. Steve's voting. No, no holding two things at once. Got it, man. All right. I'm liking this scar. He looks wise. Well, I guess he is wise. He's he's got a lot of knowledge of the world. The no soles color for the scar. Yeah, that has a little more color depth, doesn't it? Oh, and that does look more scar like. Yeah. Yeah, that works better. Knife in the waist. And a flask. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely should at least have a, a knife in the waist and definitely a flask. Cool. Okay. I'm thinking also he should have maybe some like... Yeah, something like this.
He looks like he belongs in a biker, biker gang. Uh. Bears Angels? No empty beer bottles are all around him? So this is his flask here. Carries it like that. It's like a it's like a Boda bag almost. Maybe it shouldn't be a Boda bag. Maybe it is a flask, huh? I don't know. Does it look good enough already, or what? Whoops. Reminds you of a Nord? What's a Nord? Cool. Now, yeah, now he looks like he's definitely going to collect something. I think his knife should be uh, a little darker, though. Yeah, the left arm is meant to look shorter because he's out of perspective. He's le he's to looking to the side. Yeah, that did add a lot, right? Just adding the little the two little things here. Maybe I'm thinking a darker knife though. Just a little bit darker there. Maybe a little darker here too. Color-wise, it's a lightsaber. It is, right? This thing? Let's merge these two layers now that this is like... Ah, we'll keep it for a, separate for a moment. Okay, well, I think we're getting close to being able to just, like, animate him now. He doesn't move. That's great. He's simple. The The complex part about his code, though, is going to be that he, he gives you items. So I, I've never had an NPC yet that gives you items. Uh, i got to code that. Also, the, the simple act of creating NP, an NPC, I'm not sure if it needs to be created in the way it is right now with, like, the foes are. So there's some code to be done here. Oh, it's from Elder Scrolls? Whoa, they're cool. Nice, that's some sweet armor. Okay, let's animate him. All right, I guess I'll play with the, this one more time. If I do that. No, it does need that pixel. Okay, yeah, these are ready to merge. Merge layers, get rid of the hat layer, we got it. Yeah! Can you optionally steal his item and he kills you? I don't see why not. That sounds awesome. Uh, 
Okay, let's do a simple animation. So I want his shoulders to rise. And his arms. Whoops, I meant to do plus. Plus, plus, plus there. Okay. Or like Enter the Gungeon. If you shoot at the shopkeeper, he'll raise the price first. <laughs> really? He raises the price first? That's funny. Sorry. You're not welcome here. You get charged double prices. Stupid, stupid hooligan coming in my shop and trying to fight me. All right, that's a start. Just having him breathe like that, and let's make the uh, this little tassel thing wave in the wind a bit. All right, good night, Ladder Thief. Okay, so I like him so much, I'm going to check him in so far. All right, there. Now, now I got that checked in, so um, now I can play with this art and feel confident that I, I'm not going to mess anything up and lose it or whatever. So I'm thinking three frames with his shoulders down, three frames with his shoulders up, the tassel blowing in the wind, or whatever that thing is, this mark of bravery? I don't know. Can he be playable? No. No. 
Uh, any kind of playable character, we're talking like a month of work, at least. There's so many animations for the playable characters. Oh, the spear tilt. Nah, that, that's a great idea, too. Let's do that already in frame one. See what that looks like. I don't know. It, it might be good. It might not be. Let's see if it, see it in the game though, because sometimes things can really change. Hey, what's up, space? My name. Can we take his spear at least? You like his spear, huh? So for anybody joining the stream recently, I'm working on an NPC here. This is uh, a Kickstarter NPC. This is Steve Tranby's own NPC. Steve Tranby can design whatever the heck he wants. And this is the, his uh, NPC that we're designing here. He designed that I'm drawing. Um, yeah, so that does look pretty cool with that, that moving just a slight bit at the top. But maybe his hand should move a little too and make it look more like it's doing something to the spear, really. But not really. Like that, I'm thinking. Uh, so this NPC, Brutus, he's um, he's kind of a gruff character. He's a hunter, so he knows a lot about the world. He teaches you a little bit about the world. Um, he uh, he shows you where stores are, and he actually asks you to go get him some gin, basically. So you, he get so you once you finally bring him a gin, he gives you your first flask, and that's kind of where you earn his trust. At first, he's like he hates you. In fact, he berates you for taking the, the nano sword because he's well aware that taking that sword would wake, awaken an ancient evil army. He's explored this planet enough to know. He's talked to people, he's wandered around, he knows. So he the first thing he does is he berates you for taking the sword. He's like, you're a freaking idiot, you took the sword. And then uh, he gives you the bio detector because like now it's basically your responsibility to destroy this ancient evil. Um, so he's kind of a central character to the to the plot of the game, um, and he can he's a random NPC encounter, so you you never know where you're gonna find him. Well, let's change the daylight. Let's turn this back to um, earlier in the day. Keeps on getting sunset. Changes everything, huh? The colors for him are totally different now. Huh, in fact, the, the tassel might not even need to blow in the wind. What if, while it's during this frame, the tassel looks like that? So it, it like looks a little more physical. I guess this makes it less windy.
Oh, uh, that's weird. It makes it look all squished. Huh. Okay, it looked a lot better without that. Okay, let's keep that. All right, so should I keep working on the art, make this even a little bit better, or should I start working on the programming? Because the programming part is the long part. The long, the, the most amount of work will go into the programming, getting all this stuff so you can give you an item. Yeah, I think he's pretty good for now. I won't, I'm not gonna animate this little tassel thing just yet. Or, you know what, why not? Let's just do it. Let's try it really quick. Yeah. Programming, you're like, skip to the programming. This little piece is seven pixels tall. This one, two, three. And then the fourth frame will be take these pixels out. So kind of like that. And that. If it crossed left in front of the handle, in front, maybe, yeah. That would give it a little bit of 3D feeling. I don't know, let's, let's, let's see what it looks like though, like so far. Yeah, it might look pretty good. Let's see it in the game, and uh, yeah, this, this guy might be done actually, as far as this first little animation. Um, let's render that. And now that he's got three times the frames, we need to take this delay down by a third. Yeah, that's great. That definitely added some life to this whole thing. But he, he might be breathing a bit too fast now. And it seems like the tassel's moving too slow. I don't know, what if he's, this was just longer? Sergeant Seb, free parking.
Yeah, I think it needs to do the whole animation twice. So this whole thing runs. All right, let's do the rest of the frames. Yeah, a little slower, but I think when once it gets a little slower, it's going to need to have double the frames. So, uh, Wait, 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 wait. I think I skipped something here. There's one. Oh, it's got that all the way out. Yeah, I still missed one. Alright, we got six frames there. Now we need six frames with this one. One, two, three, four, this is the fourth one. This is wrong, something's wrong here. Okay, let's put all this together. Yeah, I think that's gonna be a lot better. Okay, I'm gonna turn off this gray background, re-export all these frames, and now it's it might need less delayed, but we'll see. 
How much longer am I going to stream today? Um, let me see. Not that much longer. I'm going to be out. I'm going to be probably stopping here in the next 20 minutes. Yeah, it is looking good, right? I'm, I'm happy with the way he looks. I'm excited to make him actually do stuff now. Yeah, now he can. It needs a little less delay. Okay, good. This is enough. Uh, enough messing with the animation now, because that's that's looking great. That could totally work in the game. Oh, no worries, man. I'm really wishing you good luck with everything, with your projects you're working on and uh, possible everything you're doing, man. I'm rooting for you. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, he looks great. <coughs> Whoa. See you, Steve. All right, now he, he needs some dialogue, and he needs to give you um, give you the bio detector. So let's give him a dialogue component. Oh, this doesn't have a dialogue component, does it? Maybe I did it here. All right, Brutus needs his own color for his dialogue component. I'm thinking that same green tone is this right here. This is uh, hue 103. Let's get a box color out. This is Vel's box color. Let's change it to hue 103. And this is what his dialogue would look like. And then let's grab Vel's Dialogue color, same thing. Let's make a hue 103. Height, this is going to be pretty high, but I, I don't know. 49 might be really high already. Okay, so now let's make him talk. He needs something to say, and the story system needs to call it. Brutus, flags, no save, dialogue, Brutus 1, strings, Brutus one. Brutus. Brutus needs a name component so we can find him and stuff like that like that for the for the dialogue. Brutus. See if he talks. Whoa, oh, oh, he just magically appeared that time. He didn't talk, and it, and now the exit spikes are here. Is that all from giving him a 
dialogue component or was it from wait a minute what happened to the dialogue component I put it in vel this, this does explain some things This is not. Try that. Well, you better take this bio detector. I don't want the I don't want the the dialogue to be this cheesy here, but I'm just writing some stuff out here. This is kind of how this dialogue will go. It's basically he's he berates you for taking the nano sword. He lets you know that basically you work this army. I wonder why he's magically appearing now. What's up, Regonite? Okay, so after he does that, he gives you the item. The bio detector, and then he's supposed to mark a, po a place on your map and tell you to go to the store and bring him back some gin. So here's where all the programming starts, basically. Uh, how far much longer do we have? 145. Okay, I'm gonna stream for like five more minutes. Today's stream. All right, so I'm gonna start with the the parts of the um. um like, uh, basically we need some command, some new commands to give items and all that, so it would look something like this, item compass, or actually this would be item, item one. So after he does this dialogue, he gives you the item. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see this come to fruition. The story system will need a new kind of action.
Wait, why is this in story node? Yeah, see you, Thomas. All right, now we need an action called item, which just gives you an item. That's all. All right, and all I want to do at first is see it get to this breakpoint here. So let me go back to the story. I want to put this item before the dialogue so we see it right away. No dilly dallying, just skip right to the part where we're trying to test here. So it's going to run this before it runs the dialogue, and it should break right right away. Yes, very good. We fit this breakpoint. We fit the item breakpoint. The vowel should be item one. Perfect. All we gotta do now is parse that. And then give the player that parsed item. So it already has some code right here where it parses this item. Item string. It's gonna be val. I need that. Story node parse world item val. If item is none, get item type val. Great. Now, if item is not equal to k item none, we're going to give the player this item. What's up, Zilton? Working on an NPC here. His name is Brutus. This is Brutus. This is a this is an NPC designed by Steve Tranby, who was one of the Kickstarter backers who backed um, at the level where he gets to design his own NPC. So this is Steve's NPC. Sorry, man, you can't name him. <laughs> this is one thing I cannot let you name. Now it's not like pickup item, we just want to give the player this item, but it's kind of like pickup item. Or I guess I should create the item ID first. This sets the flux item, marks it obtained, if it can find it. This is really all that needs to happen here. That and do item flux. So we need the player. Game scene, um, hero, zero. 
fear.gear.empty return now hero.gear.has item equals As I see, sometimes we want to give the player one, sometimes we want to give the player two. Actually, shoot, let's just give the player the maximum quantity you can possibly have of that item. So it's going to be constants get item max for item type, and then Oh yeah, we already had that. And then hero.gear.clamp. Hero.gear.autoequip. And lastly, we're gonna run the flux transition to show to show that we picked this up. Set item and run the transition. I think I'm, it may be broken at first here in that it will show it will do all this stuff before it before it's supposed to. So if I were to run the dialog first, it would run this immediately afterwards. Yeah. So it just gave me the it gave me the biodetector immediately. Okay, so let's switch up the order that it does these. So we want to see the dialogue first and then the item. I think that it's not even going to show, it's going to still do the same thing. It's going to show the item right away. Yeah, okay, so we need to add a delay to this. Oh, I guess we don't need to, we can just do that and then capture the item. If it's not none. All right. Oh, actually. Do one less indent. I find that with less indents, you have, you maintain code a little less, and it's a little easier to read. But that's my opinion. Okay, good. Now we're just seeing dialogue, and after this dialogue runs, you should give me the the bio detector. It all worked in sequence that time. So yeah, um, that's it for today's stream. We got a. This is a pretty pr fruitful day so far. We drew this character named Brutus. 
got his uh, basic mechanics working. You know, he's, the basic thing is that he's a random NPC encounter that gives you the bio detector and also teaches you about stores. So this is some great, some great progress already with Brutus. So um, yeah, tonight I'll be refining Brutus, making this all work better, and uh, yeah, tomorrow I'll be back doing something else. So we'll see you guys. Yeah, have a good one. Thanks for watching.